Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss fans miss this era in The Dark Knight Rises. Are you guys excited? Let's get started. Keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. DC Comics has been a mainstay in entertainment for decades, and they've done it all through the years. They have many iconic characters, with Batman being amongst the cream of the crop. Many actors have played the Dark Knight on the big and small screen, but some have shied away from the gig. It's a tall order, but playing Batman can change someone's career in an instant. Batman has many movies at this point, all with their strengths and weaknesses. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight films are exceptional, but they are not free from error. Let's take a look at Nolan's trilogy and this hilarious mistake that many fans missed. What error took place in The Dark Knight Rises? Batman has a long and storied history on the big screen, and during the 90s, The Dark Knight had a downward spiral at the box office. The failure of Batman and Robin sank that Batman franchise, but it also cleared the way for Christopher Nolan to take over in the 2000s to crank out a legendary trilogy. 2005's Batman Begins kickstarted Nolan's trilogy, and he enlisted American psycho actor Christian Bale to play the caped crusaded. Bale was by no means a household name at the time of his casting, but in Batman Begins, he showed the world why he was Nolan's pick for the lead character. The success of that first film gave way to The Dark Knight, which many consider the greatest comic book movie ever made. The tragedy of Heath Ledger certainly put a dark cloud over the film, but it was a critical and commercial smash that took the art of superhero filmmaking to another level. The first two films done by Nolans and Bale were great, and the duo tried their best to stick the landing for what was to be their final ride together. The Dark Knight Rises was the third and final film. In 2012, The Dark Knight Rises was gearing up to hit theaters, and there was a lot of anticipation for this movie. The fallout of Heath Ledger's passing and the critical acclaim of The Dark Knight put a lot of pressure on this trilogy film to be exceptional. Bane was selected as the villain for the movie, and Tom Hardy was the lucky actor to land the role. After being used in the worst way possible in Batman and Robin, Bane needed some big screen redemption and Hardy was a good pick for the character. He bulked up to an insane physical size and he was a terror on screen. Once the movie saw an official release, it did not garner the same type of critical acclaim as its predecessor. Nevertheless, the film was able to make over $1 billion at the box office, proving that Batman was a consistent box office draw. The film marked Christian Bale's final time playing Batman, and it also marked Christopher Nolan's final time directing a Batman movie. The duo were a match made in heaven, and their trilogy is one that will stand the test of time. As great as everything was in these films, they were not without some errors. In fact, in The Dark Knight Rises, some fans spotted a mistake that someone behind the scenes should have caught. The mistake most fans missed in The Dark Knight Rises. So what was the mistake that many movie fans missed while watching? Well, unless you were intent on doing some reading while enjoying the movie, you might have missed a typo on the newspaper that flashed across the screen. In this brief moment, the word heist is spelled incorrectly. Now, it's not as though it's some movie-shattering mistake that completely sinks the plot, but it's astounding that something like this managed to slip by the folks making the movie. After all, tons of eyeballs poured over every single frame of this film, and yet, this mistake made it into the final cut of the movie. When talking about the mistake over on Reddit, one user said, When I before E except after C goes wrong, this is a perfect example of a movie mistake that people can't unsee. It's a quick flash on the screen, but now that it has been pointed out, we wish you the best of luck in ignoring it the next time you watch this movie. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end the video.